This video is sponsored by the JVOS Mindset. JVOS is seven hours of content which will help you change your thinking about jujitsu. It will change your jujitsu forever. Understanding the key principles of the JVOS Mindset are going to improve your game exponentially. Get your copy today. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez and today this is part two of my experience of building the Master Plan. We will be focusing on the years 2011 up until 2017 and up until the current, current day here. So of course we're building the Master Plan. This is what I would consider my recent history. I retired from MMA in 2011. I had a mental shift. I began writing the first 16 books of the curriculum. I was basically downloading all the data in my mind. I had uh, an event, a, a pretty traumatic event happened to me and I started to realize that at any point in time, all of my knowledge, all of my work could have been lost. So what I did was I instantly started writing. So I t it took me about four and a half years and I, and I wrote over 2,500 pages. Everything organized, everything categorized as if they were my personal notes, as if I was teaching jujitsu to my children uh, class by class, move by move, system by system. So I wanted to download all the data as quickly as possible. So what I would do was I would teach a technique, I'd go back, I'd write down all the step by step notes, and then I would do that over and over and over. I did it for roughly over a thousand techniques, well over a thousand techniques. I got diagnosed with cancer in 2017. I had a mental breakthrough. This was a, a big deal because of uh, the physical changes that I was having to go through in order to heal from the cancer as well as my nutrition. And uh, th this, this breakthrough really elevated my thinking process and really elevated my jujitsu. It was a pretty amazing thing, even though it was such a traumatic experience initially, in the end, it's, it's worked out to, to my benefit. I shifted, in, uh, there was a shift in focus to my health. And I was basically entering my body. I'm very able to be very present when I'm training, I'm very in my body. I can feel everything. I can sense things. I can hear your breathing. I can, I can sense your energy. I can sense your tendencies. I attribute this to my nutrition and, 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 and my ability to be present. And of course, while I was sick, I wasn't able to train. So I, I gained the gift of connection. And what I mean by this is I spent about about four or five months where I couldn't do anything, six months actually, I couldn't do anything. I had a big resection surgery, so I wasn't able to spar, I wasn't able to train. The only thing I can do was do jujitsu in my mind. I will, I will make another video as to what kinds of things I was doing, um, but I, I basically was able to, in my mind, understand the concept of absolute connection, which means you're connected all the time. There's always a, a generated tension that you're able to achieve. And um, that was done while I was sick. And then when I came back to the mats and I started training, I was able to just do it because I had drilled it in my head so much that when I got on the mat, it felt second nature. In, 20, in 2017, I opened up the JV Jiu-Jitsu Academy and I began filming my curriculum the first month of COVID-19. So the second that, COVID, that there was a COVID lockdown here in California, I instantly started coming in and filming content. I've got over 12 terabytes of content right now, organized, categorized, labeled that we will be releasing over the next, I would say, five to 10 years. There's so much content, so much amazing content. All the systems are in place. And again, the central path, JVOS, those mindsets, all of those things that I've discussed in other videos were all implemented and they're a result of this building process. There's a shift in focus from from uh, from doing into sharing in to, in 2017. Even though I've been teaching for a very long time, I was always kind of I had a lot of other personal things going on, and my focus, although I had a lot of success early on coaching guys, I kind of got away from the coaching part of it, stepping away from coaching. But now that I've reopened this academy, I'm I'm kind of getting back into the coaching aspect, and 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 sharing the knowledge. So my shift went from doing the techniques from, from competing, from doing my own thing into sharing. <clears throat> I also started analyzing, categorizing, and organizing positional strategies. Again, this was all part of, of, of the collective information that I've had. I was able to pick and choose and really coordinate what I was doing with a, with a more, you know, 30,000 view, 30,000 foot view of what I was doing. I was able to much more easily organize and categorize things. 
So I hope this gives you guys a slight background as to how the master plan was built and where we are currently at today. The evolution of this system and the evolution of this curriculum has been a lifetime of work, a lifetime of research and development, and I, and I know you're going to all love it. Everybody who I've exposed to this content has absolutely loved it, and I know you will too. Go ahead and click like and subscribe if you like my content. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or comments. If you really like my content, go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you absolutely love my content, go ahead and click the notification bell, which will let you, which will alert you to when we release new videos. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.